Hi, this is Phil Candelina. I played football for North Taiwan in 1967 through 1970 football seasons. I played freshman undefeated team. First one we had in a long time. Coach Better was so excited to have our team for his uh, for our senior year. He figured he could take us all away. He was looking forward to that. I played JV for a year for Wally Greider and, and Chuck Williams. A couple years varsity. Tell me about your North Side One experience. What did you take from it? Well, number one, had a lot of fun. No, I uh, I never uh, never played organized football before freshman year because I was too big to play little league. And I got to freshman where we had a we had a we had a split uh, split squad. Half our half our t freshman team was at the high school, the ninth grader. And half was at the junior high, so we had to, every day after high school got out earlier, and the junior high got out later. So we walked down to the junior high for practice every day. So it became real, real. That those guys at the high school became real close knit, taking that walk every day. And then we got there, and like I said, I never played much before. I didn't know what the hell was going on. And Corzelius and a guy named Ganter. I don't can't even remember his first name. They said, what do you want to do? I go, oh. So they said, well, you're going to play defensive on defensive line. I said, okay. So I just went around, got beat up every day, and that was cool. So then the next year came, and all of us are at high school finally. And, uh, begin, you know, there, it's not like today. We didn't work out at first. We just, okay, first day of practice, show up, here we are. We used to play uh, practice behind the high school, and it was hard as a rock. And so you go out and fr uh, practice, no hitting the first couple of days, whatever. And you, because the ground was so hard, your your hips would kill you for a week. Because you had these steel cleats, metal cleats, on, and they went dig in and just bam, bam, bam. Anyhow, so both, you know, everybody's together the first week or two of the season, and and I didn't. Know, so I'm still learning, and. I knew you had, to, you had to do something to get the coach's attention, so they had this drill called the Nutcracker. They have a line of guys this way, a line of guys that way, and I go, okay, here's my chance. So I was carrying a ball, and, and there was a, a senior on the other side who was a smaller guy, and I blow the whistle, boom! I, I knocked the hell out of him. Hurt me too, but I knocked him on the ground, knocked the wind out of him. And right away, Coach Vetter goes, who's that? <laughs> and after that, everyone knew who I was. Nick Seebeck became my biggest fan. So came to cut down time. They cut half the, they kept half my freshman team, which were sophomores now, on varsity, because Vetter wanted that undefeated team up there. And I got to stay up in a couple of days. I said, you know what, I, I need to play. So I went down to JV. And that's where uh, Wally Gryden and, and Chuck Williams, they took me under my wing. And Chuck Williams, he made a big impact on my life. He uh, taught me so much about football. Very smart man, man, man ahead of his time. Wally Gryden, I had him for eighth, ninth grade science, 10th grade biology, 11th grade chemistry, and 12th grade physics. So we became, became good friends too. He had a place up at uh, Shirkston after I got out of high school. I used to go up and see him summer after summer after summer. And later in my life, I was working at a gym. He used to come in there. And we were uh, great friends till, till the day he passed. Sad day for me when he passed. But like getting back to Chuck Williams, he, he uh, like I said, he taught me a lot. And, and still, I'm still don't know what I'm doing up there. And every day we used to run sprints. And I was running with the linemen and I was beating everybody by 40 yards. So next day up in class, Greta goes, hey, we're switching you to offense. You're gonna be a halfback now. I said, good. So he sat down he, he explained a little bit about it. Like I said, I never played before other than street ball. And again, this, everybody ran the same thing, the unbalanced line. Greta's favorite play was rip three. And he used to, he says, I'm gonna run rip three into your tongue tie. I said, great. 
So I had a lot of fun playing freshman, and I was, I was like I said, I was fast, and and my 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 team itself, that kind of was a dead end then because you had Pete Kaiser, Don Garrett, Jess Malden, and so that, that you know, but that was all right. I, so then Williams took me. He says, "You're not gonna play offense up there." I go, "Yeah, I understand." He goes, "We're gonna make you linebacker," and and uh, the man was very very smart, and he used to sit down and stuff behind the scenes, and you know, you don't you don't know what these coaches do, but. It was, uh, he impacted, like I said, he impacted my life, the rest of my life, and I'm uh, forever thankful to him. What sticks out about playing football for North Tonawanda? What sticks out in your mind? Again, I had fun. It was fun. And you know what? The practices were harder than the games. I used to get beat up in practice all the time. Get to a game, never got hit half that hard. It was just uh, the camaraderie of the guy. Even now, certain teammates I still see, and we're, we're still good friends, you know, 50 years later. Talk about the NT, uh, TNT experience. TNT, um, I'm sure everybody else, you know, they had the, the luncheon before, and we had a pep rally, and my class, we, we dressed up as uh, lumberjacks and Indians, and me and a couple of guys, we put blowing cloths on and paint on our faces, we were the Warriors, and put a little play on. They just, you know, they, they don't do stuff like that. they did back then. But, um... If you, met somebody off, if you met somebody off the street and you started talking about high school football and they wanted to know, you know, where you played football at, what would you tell, the, tell that person? Tell them to play North Tonawanda. Yeah. Every, you know, I uh, I loved playing football, and when I graduated, I was pumped out. I even said to Coach Williams, I go, I wish I could play another year. He goes, yeah. He goes, but you got to move on. So with the, all the stuff he taught me about, you know, I played I played football until the 40s. It wasn't, it wasn't professional. It wasn't college, but we played a, a – actually, I ran a, a flag league, and we uh, changed the rules a little bit to make it full contact. So that was a lot of fun, and uh, North Honolulu football. I just was very, very proud to play there and uh, and cherish the experience. We ta had talked about briefly about a few things here. What haven't we? What haven't I brought up? And what would you like to talk about? And add as one, one, one as add as one last final question. Um. What do I want to add? That we didn't, we didn't, uh, like I said, we were undefeated as freshmen, and we didn't complete our goal. We didn't, uh, we didn't win the title in uh, our senior year. We lost a couple games, and uh, we we did win the TNT game, and that was big. Uh, that was a big to do. Actually, there's a picture of us sitting in the locker room, and sitting in the shower. And I don't I remember when the title won the news. Took it and we're all sitting there. Hey. But you know, it's just overall the experience was uh, something I'll never forget the rest of my life.